Really getting a run on. Pretty rare sight. Unless you shake a dog biscuit container and then she runs. Plenty of smells here for the Bassets. Smell seems to be their currency. Everything revolves around their nose. Especially Angus. That nose never stops working. When he sees something interesting, he almost points. He'll stop, his tail will straighten up. And his nose will head towards it. I think he waits for the wind to bring the scent to him. And then he's got a rough idea of what he's dealing with. We're not a cat chaser, thankfully. He'll chase ducks though, pigeons. But oddly, very, very scared of chickens. The paddock that's just over the way here, you can see with the little pine tree all on its own at the top there. There used to be chickens in there, there's not anymore, but when he was a pup, those chickens chased him. And now he's deathly afraid of chickens. But not ducks. I think he'd quite like to have a duck for his lunch, but thankfully he's too slow. There seems to be ducks at every park where we live. They've been telling people off for feeding them bread. Apparently it's no good for them. Which I think I was well into my adult life when I learned that. I spent my whole childhood going to parks feeding ducks bread. But they tell me it ferments in their gut or something. It's no good for them. And the leftover bits ferment in the pond and make all kinds of bacteria and what have you, I guess. Angus has seen a dog. Pretty exciting for him. We'll stop and have a good sniff. I imagine he'll see it any second now and bolt towards it. Good boy, Angus. Good boy. <laughs> 